Sneaker Fam. Welcome to a brand new episode of the Sneaker Dome. I am your host, Sneaker James, aka the Shoe Freak, aka the dude next door with all the kicks. Coming through with a very special episode. As you guys can see from the thumbnail, I mean, I'm sorry, <laughs> from the thumbnail and also the title, I got some brand new one of ones that just came into the mail today. So, what I further do, not gonna hold you guys up, because I know exactly what you're here to see. Let's do it. It's sneaker down but the cream the crops. We got the ones and twos. This shit don't stop. Walk up in the building, my shit gon' pop. Never know what I got in the box. Over your 12 swag too easy. Need my own sneakers call up. Alright, so welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Now, before we get directly into my one of one custom from Nike, of course, um, I wanna kinda <laughs> I wanna kinda give y'all a look at something else that happened all the way across town, about eight hours away, in Charlotte, North Carolina. Check this out. Hey, YouTube, this is your boy, True Kicks. And today I want to talk about these Nike ID Air Force One Highs Custom Oregon Ducks. And uh, the shoes have removable patches on them, and they came on this right here, as you can see. All the patches came on this, but it came on this side, and you can take the patches off and put them back on here. And my placement of the patches, as you can see, I, I did the two patches here, the Ducks, Oregon. And then on the side, I, I took the Nike and the Oregon symbol uh, and the Nike removable check here. And on the inside of this one, I put the, uh, the cutting down the nets. And as you can see, too, this whole upper is Velcro. So you can move these patches any way you want. And uh, these did come with uh, green shoe, shoe strings, but I changed them out with the yellow. Thought I'd give it pop, more pop to it, and I also put this here on, you know, just to get the shoe some more character. And as you can see, man, it's clean. This first shoe is very clean. And like I said, you can remove these, you know, place them any way you want. And as you can see, it got those stars. Crispy. See that so. Second shoe, man, this one here. As you can see, I said I had the organ there, removable check there, and this this swoosh right here is leather, but you can also get this in Velcro. And I have the the basketball there and the duck. And as you can see, the inside, boom, I got the organ there. Some people like to wrap around the the heel, but I think this is doper, man. When you walking, people can see the inside of it. You just can see the whole organ. I mean, this is a dope shoe. You know, you guys should try to build you one. You know, your favorite college team. Turn these bad boys to the front one more time. Nike ID, Oregon, Air Force Ones. And as you can see here too, it's on the tongue, Oregon Air Force One. So that's dope. Also have your the scraps up there. It is your boy True Kicks. And I'm signing out. Sneaker James, what it do? The shoe freak. Show me what you got, homeboy. Alright, so now y'all see that. I want to give a huge shout out before I get into it. Huge shout out to my boy True Kicks, alright? But this is that's what happened all the way in Charlotte, North Carolina. Unbeknownst to me, okay? I had no idea this was going on. However, this is what was happening in Washington, DC. Of course, you guys can see the Nike box, the new Nike, I don't know if it's a new Nike ID box or whatever, but from the look of it, it's a new Nike ID box, and this thing is dope, which I will be keeping this box. However, this is what was going on in Washington, D.C., while that was going on in North Carolina. Blue, exactly. Now, as you guys can see, I'm sure you all know, all of these patches are removable, right? All the patches are removed. However, the most important part of the shoe, in my opinion, the most important part of the shoe is my branding. 
Yes, Shoe Freak. There's a must that every custom shoe that I do has my branding on the shoe. Shoe Freak. Because that's who I am. A Shoe Freak. Alright. And here's the other shoe. Alright. The dope part about this shoe is the entire shoe is Velcro. Alright. The entire shoe is Velcro. All the patches, they can either stay on the shoe or you can take them off. Alright. In my personal opinion, these are fucking phenomenal. Excuse my French. Um, dope, dope shoe, man. A dope shoe in my collection. Definitely gonna give you guys B-roll footage of these bad boys. But like I said, man, I am impressed. And the entire time <laughs> I was making my shoe, my man True was doing his shoe at the same time. I decided, as you can see, to go with the low cut version with the gum sole bottom. I just think this gum bottom hits so well with this black upper. Of course, like I said earlier, the entire black area of the shoe is um, Velcro. So even if you have other patches, you can stick them on the shoe. All right, super dope, super dope in my opinion. Now I'm not a fan of the organ ducts. However, the colorway is splendid. So that was mainly why I took a, I took a liking into designing this shoe. But um, yeah, like I said, it's not it's not a a battle between me and my shoe and his shoe. I just thought it was a crazy coincidence that he was working on an organ duck Nike uh, uh, custom and I was working on mine at the same time, which is absolute craziness. But like I said, man, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, please drop your comments down below how y'all feel about the shoe. If y'all want to say who had the best shoe, that's cool too. Nevertheless, to me, this is by far absolutely amazing. But um, yeah, man, like I said, you guys can comment down below and let us know what y'all think about the uh, about these customs that we did. Um, it's your boy Sneaker James, aka the Shoe Freak. And before I go, if you are in the Washington D.C. area, please, if you are in the Washington D.C. area, June the 15th, June 15th, I am having a Jersey and Jays meet and greet. All right, anybody who shows up with the best outfit on, meaning the best jersey, the best Jays. You know, uh, selection, you get a chance to win a hundred dollar cash prize. Who doesn't want to be involved with that, right? Right. So, like I said, man, it's your boy Sneaky James, aka the Shoe Freak, and I'm out. Peace.